Future of India Limited Q2 FY23 earnings conference call. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchtone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. On the call, we have Mr. P.S. Reddy, MD and CEO, Mr. Manoj Jain, Chief Operating Officer, Mr. Satyajit Bolar, Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Praveen DG, Head, Chief Risk Officer. I now hand the conference over to Mr. P.S. Reddy. Thank you and over to you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Faisal. Hello. Thank you, Mr. Faisal. Uh, are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. You are audible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Um, I think um, this quarter, uh, thanks to options, we have done well. I must accept that. And um, although there is a small uh, dip in the volumes of the futures, the options have picked up substantially well and uh, hope that we will be able to do better in the coming quarters and maybe when we introduce more and more contracts also uh, that should help us to uh, you know uh, meet our expectations i think i leave the uh, floor open for question answers uh, please ask the people to ask questions thank you very much we will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. A reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. The first question is from the line of Mohit Kumar from Dam Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> good evening, sir. Uh, congratulations on a very, very good quarter and uh, excellent set of numbers. So my first question is uh, the, on the delivery form of TCS. And are you confident? Mr. Kumar, the audio is breaking from your line, sir. Is it better now? Can I just... Hello? Is it all? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Please proceed. The question is on the delivery platform of TCS. Sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Kumar. The audio is still breaking from your line. Request you to please be in a network area. I get back in the queue. Sorry. Thank you. We'll take the next question from the line of Divesh Agarwal from IFL. Please go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, sir, and uh, congratulations on good set of numbers. Uh, two questions from my side. Uh, firstly, wanted to know uh, the status on the transition to the new platform. So where are we on that? Yeah, what is the next question? And the second question is, sir, we know that uh, you have extended the contract with 63 moons for a quarter. So what are the commercials around this uh, for the extension of the contract with 63 moons? Okay. Uh, as far as PCS platform is concerned, we have already started the what to call UAT. And uh, I know we are planning uh, to launch next uh, month. Uh, the mock as well as the parallel runs and uh, so hopefully and um, that's what our plan is that is what our desire is uh, by the end of this quarter we should be able to go live is what our expectation is uh, as regards to the the spent on the on the on the 63 moons i don't think we'll be able to reveal the commercials but uh, it is exorbitant that's all i can say Okay, sir. And uh, in terms of sir, uh, the uh, new additions uh, to the platform, be it your uh, changes in the monthly option gold contracts that you were planning to do, as well as a gold spot exchange, all of this will be post the transition to the new platform. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. 
so all of this will be um, post to go live that's right the impact of the uh, extension will be felt in the next quarter of course that's obviously understood okay sir thank you so much thank you thank you the next question is from the line of avinash singh from mk global please go ahead yeah, hi uh, good evening or uh, two questions from my end uh, firstly if you can give some uh, a break up of the operating revenue in terms of you know uh, transaction uh, charges on futures and option and other fee and relative uh, related income so if some uh, you know further break up of uh, this uh, operating revenue that number one number two is if we see uh, closely i mean a, a large part of growth has been driven by uh, you know a huge uh, surge in uh, options in energy uh, i mean uh, gas and crude now uh, how do you see this i mean how much of that is kind of a structural in nature or how much of it can be attributed to maybe uh, you know increased volatility around energy in this uh, uh, i mean this geopolitical developments so these are my questions thank you okay uh, i will answer the second question first um, uh, in fact volatility is uh, uh, is the thing which runs any contract for that matter now whether sometimes it is uh, it is uh, the energy product sometimes it is the gold silver and still sometime maybe metals so uh, the, i can't say that whether there is any structural weakness or a strength in it i mean it it is it is the characteristic of the market we must accept it maybe currently it is the energy which is substantially driving it be that so uh, but it is the volatility which drives all commodity markets so so are we so i will not be able to say that uh, quarter to quarter is it a structural change no it's not a structural change uh, that is the inherent characteristic of the market as it goes to the contribution of futures versus uh, uh what is this uh, uh options uh, we got about uh, uh, in futures we got about uh, 40 i mean sorry 62 crores uh in september quarter and options we got about 43 crores that's what it is okay and uh, and, and the rest of our 20 or crores would be uh, uh from i mean you know membership fee and other things membership fee and if you're looking at the consolidated yeah, uh, also it in, yeah it includes the uh, clearing corporation part if you're looking at the standard loan it includes membership and uh, and others oh, activity okay. charges oh, thank you thank you thank you the next question is from the line of nikhil abhyankar from dam capital please go ahead Nikhil Abhyankar, your line is in talk mode. Please go ahead with your question. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, thanks a lot for the opportunity, sir. Uh, I would like to go back to the 63 moons contract. So, uh, assuming that we do the same volumes as we did in this quarter, can you just give a rough estimate as to what will be the impact on our EBITDA for the next quarter? And I'm how sorry, confident yeah. are we? I will not how be confident able to... I will not be able to give those numbers, please. I mean, that is as good as telling me what the commercials are. Okay. Uh, and so how confident are we of uh, going live by uh, end of quarter three with the new platform? Yeah, confidence level is high. You know, but, but, and, uh, God forbid if some unforeseen uh, thing happens, we can't say. But then uh, uh, I think we are on that path to make it live. That's what we are fully determined to make it happen. that's what our uh, all teams are working towards that okay uh, so my next question is about the higher other income as compared to the last quarter it is somewhere around 18 crores as compared to 9 crores last quarter uh, so do you think uh, this level is sustainable going forward and also we've got a lower tax expense this quarter so any reason specific reason for it and what will be the tax rate for the entire year see we are moving more towards uh, you know our portfolio in the ytm uh, yield to maturity kind of uh, thing uh, range so we are moving more to this some of the perpetual bonds some of them into the state development loans of the you know category 1 kind of states uh, like gujarat maharashtra kind of things we are doing it 
so where it is the returns are very high as compared to what is uh, the other money markets or other short term funds are yielding so that is having uh, you see that kind of uh, what you call impact and this, this interest rate started yields have started going up in the last quarter you know in this rather in the current quarter from the sometime june july onwards it started so we are accordingly taking advantage of the market and the tax rate uh, would be like this taxes on you know as per the indas it's on the budget so it to, it should be at on these uh, these level and once we go live with the cdp project then we'll also get the benefit of the depreciation yeah which we are not yet factored back okay so should we uh, estimate somewhere around 20 22% tax rate Uh, yeah, maybe around 23 percent would be right. 23. Okay. So I've got just one more question. Uh, I was just going through the annual report. So over there earlier, you mentioned that we have got 20 percent stake in the new spot gold exchange in in the Gift City, but I think it has been reduced to around 14 percent. Any specific reason for that? See, the investments are being made in tranches. Sometimes we have one get delayed, and uh, you know we got delayed. and uh, we made it up you know in the sense it is that uh, accounting entry so by 31st march we couldn't make it but then in the april we have made it so now currently it is uh, 20% you know okay so that's all from my side i'll get back in the queue thank you thank you thank you the next question is from the line of prayesh chain from motilal oswal financial services please go ahead yeah good evening everyone first of all wish everybody a very happy diwali and happy new year uh, and secondly congratulations on great set of numbers uh, first question is on the uh, crude oil part where in the previous quarter you had mentioned that the regulator is definitely considering something related to the sgf and margins uh, aspect so any further development there on the sgf no further developments because it is still uh, you know uh, rmrc meeting sebi is yet to take place unless that is done uh, this issue will be uh, kept pending that's why it is okay uh, secondly on the egr uh, you know bac has received an approval what the status with tnc no you see it, that as I, as i told you uh, mm-hmm. i we are not comparing with anyone i mm-hmm. think uh, they have gone ahead let them go ahead and mm-hmm. um, we have our own assessment of this market our own assessment of it as mm-hmm. we said the domestic spot exchanges gold exchange will start doing better or well only if there is a gst consideration for the mm-hmm. first depositor mm-hmm. now just to just to launch and then make uh, that we are the first it's fine i have no problem we are the first or second is not important mm-hmm. once you launch you should do successfully that's what it is so we will we will do it once our uh, tcs platform is stable and once we go low on cdp then we will focus on the spot okay uh, so the question is on this tcs thing again uh, in case if we are not able to implement the Now uh, this is platform by December. Uh, does the current extension of 63 months allow you to further extend it by another quarter? We don't know. I don't know I, because this is hypothetical at this point in time, mm-hmm. and uh, you know we shouldn't be telling uh, you know. I mean, all alternatives are possible. That's the way I, I see that. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not ruling out anything. Okay. 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 All right. Thanks. That's all from me. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Amit Chandra from HDFC Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah, hello. Yes, sir. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, so my uh, so my question is on the, the concentration that is there in the you know, options trading. So ninety five percent is from uh, like crude and natural gas. So don't you think that uh, you now as you have mentioned in the you know, in the in the previous question also so, you know uh, uh, i don't think it's a risk uh, wherein other contracts are not taking up or is it you uh, know structured by any chance or is it you uh, know structured in that way that we are you know uh, focusing more on these two contracts and in terms of pipelines which other 
I know, uh, I know, I know, like which other contracts are in the pipeline, which uh, I know we have to launch. Okay, uh, is it a risk? Obviously, concentration is a risk. That is true with uh, uh, other leading exchanges uh, where they have only one single product, maybe uh, index options or something like that, and um, uh, and uh, maybe energy exchange has got only the electricity. But that uh, I mean, it comes with that uh, structure itself. I mean, uh, investors have accepted. That, yeah, it is like this. And um, I mean, as I told you, volatility drives the market. You have seen last year in 2021-22 uh, also the you know gold and silver markets have uh, you know those products have done exceedingly well, and uh, this time it is doing uh, you know energy. Sometimes it could be metals also. So uh, I think uh, we are not worried on that. You know there is no competition. The point is within India there is no competition. Now if somebody wants to trade in these products, they come to the exchange only. I can understand this concentration will be a risk if there is competition. Okay. And sir, uh, you know, uh, in terms of this, uh, you know, the participants who are trading. So, uh, you know, have we seen a substantial increase in the retail participation, especially in options, or is it this? You know, the structure is similar to what there is in futures, or is it substantially different from what uh, it is in futures? No, you see, um, uh, we have seen a good, uh, great number uh, of investors participating in terms of trading UCCs. Uh, the uh, till this end of this quarter, in this current financial year, we, we have three lakh seventy four thousand UCCs have participated. As against corresponding period last year, three lakh thirteen thousand UCCs, or three lakh fourteen thousand, a little less than three lakh fourteen thousand UCCs last year. And um, so that's the big uh, number. And uh, if you see Q2 to Q2 comparison, last year July September it was 2 lakh 19 thousand total of futures and options. And this year in Q2 it's a 2 lakh 91 thousand. So I mean uh, that's that's the way it is. Okay. And sir, uh, no, my uh, my last question is on the technology part. So you mentioned that uh, next month uh, we are going to start the mock trading on the new platform. So it's uh, mostly end of November. So don't so you no, know, you have only one month, which is December, to to, tran to transition from old to new. So don't you think that like you know, I know one month is very less time to do all the testing and uh, because uh, as you mentioned that uh, we only have three months of extension. So like beyond that, uh, maybe. No, we have not thought of that, or you know, like there is no clarity on that at this point. So, uh, you know, your thoughts on that, and also, uh, how is the attrition in the you know internal internal IT team has been over the last say like six months? Has it has it gone up? Uh, has it has it gone up like significantly in the last six months? Well, coming back to the, I said next month doesn't mean next month end. Okay. So, uh, I mean, uh, you are presuming that it is next month and the kind of thing and then only one month is available. It could be uh, well be in the beginning of the first week of the next month also. So, that is the way of, we are conscious of the time limit. That is why we are trying to make it live as early as possible and to make it, uh, I mean, uh, mock runs also as early as possible. And um, and 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 I mean this is the topmost priority of the management. There's nothing else. Let me tell you. And uh, on the on the second question that uh, attrition, I think it has uh, tapered off now in the current uh, in this one in this quarter I would say. But yes, in the previous quarters uh, it was uh, on the on the higher side. But now it is uh, tapered off. Okay. Okay, so thank you and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Sumit Rora from Smart Sun Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, hi, sir. Uh, okay, thank you very much for uh, giving me the opportunity. Sir, so, uh, if you can just help me understand a few things. Uh, what's the cash uh, today we have uh, on books? 
uh, firstly. Uh, secondly, sir, you know, I'm, you know, I just beg my ignorance, but I'm pretty new to you, uh, to your company. So I just ask you a few things. So, sir, basically, if you can help me understand that, uh, you know, you said the operating revenue was about 60 crores for futures and about 40 for options and 20 was the other. So can you please help me understand that uh, this is the options is the new part. So how do you basically see this, uh, you know, evolving? Because normally, you know, options are very well traded all over the world in terms of uh, volume. So how do you basically see this 40 crore uh, kind of options, uh, you know, shaping up? Uh, so thirdly, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I mean, I, I read somewhere that, uh, you know, SEBI uh, uh, may soon allow FIs to, uh, you know, be a uh, start trading, uh, you know, commodities. So has that already been allowed or that has not been allowed as yet, sir? Okay. I'll take the second question, the third question. The, how does the okay. options uh, will uh, shape up option revenue? Because currently it is uh, 60 versus 40 kind of thing you are saying it. Uh, what I what I understand is that options are uh, the future for that, uh, for that matter, for all products maybe. We are gradually introducing more and more products and which one will pick up fast and then uh, which one will pick up trading as it is currently happening in the crude and NG. Uh, and I think it all depends on the volatility and the margining system. And the margins are under the underlying features of uh, underlying features, the margins are very high, whereas options it is very less. That is the reason why this is, uh, uh, why it is, uh, you know, darling of the market. And um, I think uh, as we go along, we will see some kind of traction in other products and the options will also start picking up. And even the realization rate is also good in the case of options. Uh, you know, even better than what we are keep assuming is that, you know, I keep saying that one third of the, uh, you know, uh, options give one third revenue as equivalent to the features, that's what I, I say. But that is, realization is better than what we have been presuming it. And the third uh, yes. thing is the, uh, huh? Yes. So that is first one. Second? Third. Third. Yeah, five participation, the regulations are out. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, still, I, 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 I mean, this is our understanding of it. If, the, if they want to participate without any delivery being uh, taken or any kind of uh, such thing, they should be able to participate uh, well in time, now itself. Uh, but if they want to participate in terms of cash and carry arbitrage opportunities, they want to take advantage of, probably they need a GST registration, et, et, et cetera, which again is a challenging thing for them. And then probably they need to have a custodian also in place uh, if they want to trade in such kind of uh, strategies. Maybe uh, we have to wait and see. But again, as I said, our focus this quarter is not acquisition of more clients. If they come, it's fine. But uh, our focus is on technology. I and mean, we want to make it live, come what may, at any cost, the, the, the CDP uh, commodity derivatives platform live. That's what our, our, our ambition is. Yeah, and as we got to the cash first one, yeah. yeah, own cash in our books is around 900 crores. This excludes all the margin money and other money that you know, the clearing corporation gets. Our own net worth is 900, in, which is represented in cash. Okay, perfect. Okay, and, and, and can I just for one more thing if I may ask you? May I, sir? May I? Yeah, please, please. Okay. Okay. So, so that basically, uh, you know, if you can help, please understand that today, how many products, uh, you know, are we offering and, uh, you know, of the revenue, uh, can you give uh, the top 10 products, I mean, if by revenue, you know, we offer and, and how many more, uh, you know, products or commodities, you know, are we going to introduce going ahead? No, two energy stocks and then two, I mean, uh, uh, two of the bullion, that's four, and then five base metals. These are the ones which accounts for the maximum. That's the way it is. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And, and, and are we introducing more, I mean, products or commodities or whatever? Yes, we are. Uh, we are they are in the pipeline. We will do that. Hmm? Electricity okay. is one such. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Subramanian Ayer from Morgan Stanley. Please go ahead. 
Uh, yeah, hi everyone. Uh, thanks for the opportunity and uh, congrats on a good quarter. Uh, so I had three questions. Uh, the first one is that uh, it's, it's more related to the uh, operating revenue breakup. So you mentioned about other revenues being about 20 crores. Uh, so if you could give some more color here on what's changing here, because uh, in the first three quarters of the last year we had it, uh, we had this number around 13 crores odd. Uh, the last two quarters this been around 16 crores, and now there's been a good jump to 20 crores. So if you can provide some more color on this, uh, on what's the composition and what's moving here. Uh, that's the first question. The second question is about product dynamics. Uh, so we are seeing a good pickup in uh, options uh, with respect to crude oil, but uh, uh, but we have not seen uh, a pickup in op options with respect to uh, gold and silver, which are more dominant in futures, whereas uh, basically crude is not doing that well in futures. So, uh, so if you can exp uh, explain some product dynamics here on uh, why this uh, differentiation uh, and if at all there can be something that can shift from futures to options in the future uh, from in the future from futures to options why would that happen um, and the last question is uh, more uh, is more about the investment book so so you mentioned that you are moving to the uh, to a YTM uh, to YTM investments do you have an option of uh, essentially uh, not marking to market instruments that are designated to be held till maturity uh, so that by eliminating the volatility in your PNL uh, so that's the third one that I wanted to understand. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, see, the second question I will answer first. Then, uh, see, uh, um, you're right that crude oil, the thanks to the ma high margins that have been imposed, then investors found an alternative way of taking advantage of the volatility in the product, so they moved over to the options. And in a sim similar way, even the NG has also picked up. The but that's not the true, uh, that's not true with uh, gold, okay? I get gold and silver. So the futures only are doing it. Now, my my hunch is that it was the high margin costs which have led to this kind of shift. But having got used to that kind of shift, whether they will move back to the uh, futures, if the margins are reduced, uh, I'm not too sure about it. I will not be able to predict that. And if there is any other reason that could make them to take a decide, uh, make them to move over to the features, I think we have to wait and see on that part of it. Now, now the other products, obviously, as we introduce in the gold, also we are planning to introduce so, on a monthly options contract. Probably uh, that will reduce the tenor of the contract. Also, you need to look at that part of uh, as well. If the tenor is also high and then the value, contract value itself is also very high, uh, obviously that will keep the participants out. And hopefully if we make it a monthly contract, that will be brought down by off, you know. Premium will be brought down, so that may make it uh, attractive. Uh, so essentially it is the cost of trading, whether it be that premium, be that uh, margins, which will drive, uh, make the people to choose the product. Then uh, the the first one, of course, regarding the breakup of it, uh, the other income breakup, he will uh, tell you. The second, the last question again related to the uh, whether HTM. I think that is we have changed the policy uh, of our investment policy. There we mentioned that uh, all these instruments can be kept uh, under uh, held, to uh, held to maturity. As we uh, anyway, you yeah. speak. As we explained in the earlier in uh, the July call that we are moving into uh, health to maturity category of investments of uh, bonds. So, yeah, we are so we are amortizing this over the uh, length of the instrument and we have invested a substantial amount in state development loans as well as in perpetual bonds which uh, in primary as well as in the secondary market during this quarter. So all of these instruments are held under held to maturity. So we so we won't be, we, we will not be capturing any impact of the uh, mark to mark. On your second question with regard to other income, so the other income in, includes mainly treasury as well as during the quarter we had in, uh, as we have informed the market that we have an arrangement with Chittagong Stock Exchange in which we give them, we have been providing technical services. So we have been able to book, we have booked, uh, we have provided services and we have booked certain income on the services that we have provided to Chittagong Stock Exchange. Uh, thanks a lot and uh, 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 best wishes for future quarters. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Lavanya Totala from UBS. Please go ahead. Uh, hi. Uh, 
Uh, thanks for the opportunity, sir, uh, and congratulations on good set of numbers. Uh, and uh, I just want to understand, uh, in continuation to earlier question, that uh, in options, is there any difference uh, in participants who trade gold and silver as compared to crude and natural gas? Because there, the members are already comfortable with options, but uh, gold is not yet. So is there any uh, difference in the set of participants who trade uh, in different products? And also uh, within crude, do you see higher preference for short duration like one month contracts over two months uh, because the premium would be uh, lower there? Yeah, in crude anyway, it's a monthly contract. So uh, as such, the premium will be lower, okay? And uh, but the okay. contract price is also not very big as compared to the gold. Today you have about 50 lakhs of rupees one kg, uh, one kg this one. So that's very high. And uh, so uh, yes, um, is there any difference in the participation? Uh, there are many common, no doubt about it. But as I told you, uh, for those ones who are uh, who are um, uh, day traders or some of them who want to take advantage of volatility. They look at um, uh, deploying, let's say, one lakh rupees in gold, and how much money they can make versus deploying the same one lakh rupees in crude oil. How much more money or how much more contract they can take and then benefit it. So that is what the comparison they do it. Obviously, the fund requirement will increase when it comes to the gold, and whereas when it comes to the the crude oil and natural gas, it is uh, less. So it's pure economics of it, nothing beyond. Okay, okay, got it. And just for clarification, sir, uh, crude we have only monthly contracts. There's no two-month contract. Yeah, there's no bi-monthly contract. Okay, got it, got it. And uh, uh, can you uh, help me with uh, this revenue split for the last quarter in terms of options, futures, and the membership fee, sir? Yeah, during this quarter, the September quarter, we earned 64 crores from futures, 43 crores from options. Uh, I mean, uh, Q1, Q1, uh, last Q1. Uh, Q1 was Q1, 66, right? crores, 66 crores in futures, 27 crores in options. Okay. Yeah, and then two crores would be for the membership, and another two okay. crores for connectivity. Got it. And uh, last thing, uh, after uh, launching the, I mean, after we shift to the new platform, TCS, uh, how, what would be the timeline that you would be looking at launching the new products, like uh, the monthly gold options which you are looking at? What would be the timeline after shifting to the TCS that you will be launching the new products? As far as possible, we would like to launch in the first quarter only. Okay, I within mean, the uh, first quarter, that is within three, three months of the launch. That's right. Okay. Okay, got it, got it. Uh, thank you so much. Sir. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Anjuman Deep from ICICI Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah, good evening and uh, thanks for the opportunity. I have two questions. One is on the uh, proportion of your UCCs who are using options. Uh, you kind of indicated that number. Uh, if you can uh, share the penetration of options within your uh, universe as of now that is one and secondly sir i just wanted to understand that you, in your contract with tcs is there any punitive clause of delay or uh, any uh, accountability in terms of from the tcs side in terms of being delayed or something yeah, you know, yeah i think uh, it's already there there's a full uh, penalty clause is there uh, but every clause has got its own limitations. You, know, you, can, you, can, you can't take over the entire contract value, isn't it? In any contract, you know right. that. So there is a penalty clause, no doubt about it. Okay. Now, this is one part of it. The, in terms of UCCs, uh, you're asking uh, in, in, in futures, you have a total of 2,36,000 are getting traded. Okay. 2,36,900 uh, are, 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 are trading. And in options, about two lakh thirteen thousand are trading. Now the unique between the two are three lakh seventy four thousand. Is that clear? Yeah, I think uh, just to be clear that the 
so basically the entire uh, universe who is trading futures is also trading more or less options as well not option. necessary not necessary not necessary that's what i'm saying <laughs> you mean we can't draw that number comparison and then deduct it and then you can't arrive uh, it that could be a separate set this could be a separate set Understood. that's why i'm okay. saying uh, 3 lakh 74 is the unique mm. unique okay okay sir I'll, i'll i'll sort it out and try to figure it out no problem thank you sir thank you. thank you the next question is from the line of parth agarwal an individual investor please go ahead hi thank you for the opportunity and wish you everyone at diwali uh, so i just have a question on so the in the revenue breakup there is income from margin money just wanted a brief detail about the same line item so income from margin money is essentially the cash deposited by them we earn some interest that's all it is and it will be in a uh, money market uh, i mean is consolidated or which is managed by nsec ccl and uh, the investments are made as per the sebi guidelines so it's only in uh, liquid overnight and fixed deposits and what would be the amount right now the margin money amount uh, 30th september we had around 1000 crores in cash 1000 crores okay and what is the payment that is been made to 63 months in h1 fy23 so far basically yeah yeah h1 will be uh, is obviously there as per the previous mm-hmm. contract agreement that was how much it was? around 20, around 28 crores okay 28 crores has been paid okay and what's the top 10 concentration right now okay sir our uh, top 10 concentration by trade uh, by traders one minute volume yeah i think top 10 accounts for the same like last quarter is 66% 66% okay thank you that's all for me sir thank you The next question is from the line of Rajesh Mehta, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, so my question is all on the technology platform, uh, and two questions. Sir, uh, the first one is on the uh, there's a lot of market speculation on uh, the quantum of amount that you pay to 63 moons uh, is maybe uh, multiple times of uh, what our quarterly payout are. and if that is the case sir uh, do you think that uh, next quarter's uh, profits would be materially impacted all things equal uh, that's the first one and the second one uh, uh, is on the tcs uh, delivery sir as per the last uh, conference call uh, if i am right uh, they were supposed to deliver the entire product suite by end of september and then only mock testing would have been pending but uh, they have not yet delivered this the entire product suite so what is the confidence sir that they will be able to deliver it by uh, november uh, and then the testing can go ahead and then we will be able to launch on 1st january before 1st january thank you okay um you know the first question first the whether uh, as i said the, the charges were exorbitant whether it will impact uh, the next quarter uh, i think if other things being uh, equal obviously it will be uh, uh, it will impact now the other uh, part of it is uh, what is the confidence level uh, as i said we are already doing the uat and uh, it is progressing and we are uh, we are uh, keeping track of it and uh, day by day we are able to see some uh, you know good results out of it and uh, let us see as i said uh, the, these are all all options are kept open and we must uh, make it live and it is a kind of management commitment a do or die kind of situation we would like to uh, to make it go live uh, that is a commitment from all sides that's the way it is at this point Uh, sir just one follow up uh, sir in the light of things uh, 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 w- w- would it have been better to have a, a slightly longer extension than just 3 months uh, i mean uh, given that uh, tcs has been at it for 2 years and uh, hasn't yet delivered the product suite for uh, mcf uh, just just wanted to your, uh, know your uh, perspective on it 
I think all dimensions have been discussed. I think accordingly, uh, this was the best possible uh, extension we could, uh, you know, uh, we could have under these circumstances. Thanks, sir. Thanks so much. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Harish Ayer, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, sir, and happy Diwali to you and your team, sir. Uh, sir, my uh, question is uh, in pertaining to TCS contract. And, uh, sir, what we have seen uh, even uh, internationally, uh, when someone replaces the vendor, they run the systems parallelly for a uh, good amount of time so that exchange uh, avoids any uh, failure in the future. Uh, I I completely get your intention, sir, that you want to move uh, to a new platform. But, uh, sir, uh, doesn't that risk MCX uh, for any future failure since we will have a very short amount of time to move to a new platform and uh, we don't have uh, running parallelly uh, so far, even for a quarter? Well, we need to make an assessment, a uh, risk versus the expense that we have to incur also. Of course, we are uh, we will take a, a careful uh, you know, assessment of the situation as we go along and uh, how stable it is. And, uh, and, uh, and obviously TCS will be giving L1, L2, L3, all, all supports they are giving it. And uh, we will be doing a proper assessment and uh, we will be running the parallel runs also and depending on the uh, on the quality of the parallel run quality of the mock run uh, we will take this call uh, sir uh, thanks and uh, sir one more question uh, i understand and what you have said obviously you cannot appreciate uh, the confidentiality terms uh, and you cannot quote it uh, but sir and also considering that you you said you have to uh, measure it risk uh, versus uh, you know everything and if we have to extend this contract would that mean that the fi23 profitability would uh, uh, materially get impacted uh, everything uh, remains same sir we don't know uh, uh, at what price they will extend our uh, i mean this is a like particular question isn't it i do not know what what offer they will give uh, no, so how am I to say well, whether it will impact or does not impact? Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Nikhil Abhyankar from Dam Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, thanks a lot for the opportunity again, sir. So you mentioned that there is a penal clause associated with the TCS contract. So can you just mention the quantum of that contract? quantum of the penalty no i will not be able to that's what i'm saying these are all confidential terms so how can we disclose it it's not uh okay sir and if at all uh if you have any accrued uh revenue through it so when will we start booking it come again i didn't get it i we didn't get your uh, question these penalties when will we start uh, booking these penalties if there are any no, you see, uh, the, uh, probably instead of uh, uh, paying them, the, because the f payments are not made to TCS as yet, you know, they are all in tranches and de depending on the uh, milestones. So as and when a milestone is uh, achieved, before releasing that payment, probably we will be directing it. I mean, I don't know. That is, uh, we have to look, look into the terms of the contract and then accordingly do it. Okay, that's all. That's all from my side. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Sanket Goda from Spark Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, thank you for the opportunity, sir. Sir, uh, can you just give us uh, the margin difference uh, uh, in 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 options market? I mean, absolute percentage terms uh, uh, in in options market versus versus the futures market for crude gold. Uh, so, so how uh, and, and within futures, so how the margins are different between crude and the other products? Just, to, just to understand uh, uh, how this huge differential is leading to 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 uh, uh, crude volumes to do so well. That's that's my first question, sir. Hello. 
Yeah, hello. See, uh, in crude oil, for example, features of the underlying margin is currently about uh, uh, 30, 35 percent. And when the last five days delivery comes, every day five, five uh, uh, percentage points, it will increase. So 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, it can go up to 55 uh, percentage. Now in gold, currently I think 12 percent or so. Again, uh, on the last uh, you know, five days, it will delivery period, it will increase by another 25 percent. Now, these are all the features, uh, you know, uh, activities. When it comes to options, the option writer will have a different, uh, uh, obviously the same margins will be applicable for option writer because he's hmm. taking exposure uh, to the to deliver the underlying commodities. So, but whereas the option, uh, option uh, what you call buyer, be that put option or call option, he has only option, so he will pay the premium. Now, how yeah. much premium he pay, and uh, is, is it all depends on whether yeah. it is in the money, of the, out of the money, or at the money kind of options. Mm -hmm. That is the way it is. Got it. And, and it and varies the, from product to product. Got it, sir. Got it. And, and, and the second question I just wanted to understand is that in, if, if I look at historical data, uh, the premium uh, to turnover ratio, if I want to calculate in options market, uh, it used to hover in the range of one, uh, one, one and a half percentage till, till 21. And this number suddenly has gone up to 2.3 in FI22. Now it is in the range of 2.5, 2.6 percentage. Uh, so, so this just I'm, I'm trying to understand the risk that this number, if if it goes back to to 1.4, 1.5 kind of a number, uh, uh, what what likely impact will be, or, or or what is what is leading to 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 to, to the number to be so high around 2.5, 2.6 compared to compared to a historical past around 1.4, 1.5. See, if the options are traded out of far away from out of the money, the obviously the premium will be less. If it is closer to the money or in the money or around that, then obviously premium has to be paid more. So, uh, since our charges, transaction charges are based on premium, uh, the premium, uh, uh, if it is high, then obviously our transaction charges will be high. Now, that's where we said in the earlier, uh, some time ago, that we have estimated it to be uh, getting as the revenue of the futures uh, transactions. It is precisely based on that kind of conservative estimate, 1, 1.5%. 1 but uh, we we are able to see a better premiums. So obviously our transactions options are more uh, trading at, in, at the money, in the money, or uh, near the money, the kind of thing, but not far away from the uh, money. That's the reason. So, so you have clearly seen a structural shift among the participants previously when when options were not charging uh, that 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 uh, yeah people used to trade far 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 from the uh, month contract and and now they are trading closer to the month contract and that that's like a structural shift and therefore this number will remain around two two and a half for forever going ahead. I think it is too hasty for me to make that comment that uh, we have made any structural shift. We have to wait and see. And got it is just it. one one year old uh, in that sense. Uh, the option charging uh, started last year, okay. September, uh, October, and uh, it is too early for me to say anything on that. Got it, sir. And and and, and the uh, 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 like future yield, which is two point zero seven. So so option yield will be closer to four twenty four thirty rupees, sir. I didn't understand. Options, we are charging uh, about, uh, for, you know, average 45, 45 rupees for one lakh of premium. That is the, uh, that is the yeah, fee. Yeah, that is the for million and, yeah, okay, okay, got it, sir, got it. And, and, and uh, uh, last one, uh, uh, the investment book uh, breakup, uh, if you can give how much is in SDLs or, or uh, held to maturity securities, uh, you said that the cash on investments on the book is around 900 crores. Uh, and 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 can you give that breakup of 900 crores into uh, into YTM uh, kind of bonds uh, versus last year and 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 whether there is further more scope to to increase it to YTM bonds? Yeah. So as I mentioned, uh, total corpus is around 900 crores. We have around 45 percent in perpetual bonds and state development bonds. Bond. And we also have around 5 percent in ETFs, which are maturing in uh, April 23 Bharat bonds. So the balance mm -hmm. is short term, which uh, we are reviewing on a regular basis. And as and when we get opportunities, we are moving it to SDL. So, so 
any any cap you have sir this spotify can go up to 60 or 70 of the entire cash uh, cash you hold yeah. Yeah. depend on our liquidity okay okay fine and and, and last one sir uh, see given given the mutual funds have started uh, this etfs a uh, gold and silver etfs Uh, have you seen any traction on on the exchange because of uh, uh, of these these ETFs getting launched? Not as yet, not as yet. And and what could lead to any increase in the traction, sir? Uh, I mean, any 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 reason why it is not picking up? Well, we are engaging actively with them. There are some structural issues which uh, we have written to. the amfi also to address those issues they are taking up with sebi and probably once they uh, they address those issues probably and they will be able to participate greater okay got it sir uh, thank you from me that's it from me sir thank you thank you the next question is from the line of chirag maru from keynote capital please go ahead yeah thank you for the opportunity Uh, most of my questions are answered. I just have two questions for now. The first one is: Could you please tell me uh, what is the ballpark figure that we are spending on the software TCS, and how much of that we have already spent? Uh, and my second question is: Like, we have a particular slabs for future contract, like uh, up to three fifty crores of contract we charge about one seventy five bucks, and beyond three fifty crores, uh, uh, beyond three fifty crores we charge one seventy five bucks, and Up to one three fifty crore we charge up to two sixty bucks. So, is there any kind of slabs in option contract? Too? Yeah. Uh, coming back to the second question first. Uh, yes, there is a slab as I told you. Uh, it is is about to forty five rupees. I mean, so forty rupees and forty and fifty rupees. rupees and subject to, I mean, how much is the premium? Uh, we have that. Uh, we have two slabs in that one minute. I will get you. And then, uh, and the first question is uh, on the uh, price pricing. How much is the what to call the contract value and other thing? I mean, we have been uh, uh, you know been advised strictly not to disclose any of those numbers, uh, but it will be substantially lower than what we have been incurring so far. That's the way it is. Up to five crores, fifty. Up to five crores, fifty, and uh, after that, forty. Up to five crores, it is fifty. Up to five crores of premium, it is fifty rupees per lakh, and beyond five crores of premium, it is forty uh, forty rupees. These are the two slabs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Prayesh Chain from Motilal Oswal Financial Services. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi. Firstly, uh, you were you were like mentioned about launching steel contracts. Uh, what is the status? Are we have the approvals and we are waiting for the TCS or where are the where is where is it stuck right now? Yeah, the approval is not in place as yet. That's where we are waiting for. I think uh, we should be able to uh, get that. Let us see. Okay. I'm just extending the previous question with regards to the spend on the TCS. If I look at the balance sheet and your intangible assets under development is 75 crores. Uh, is it pertaining to TCS and is it uh, uh, now how much of uh, or what portion of it would have been paid? So 75 crores is a number that we have it till September. That's the aggregate amount of what we are spending on a, a intangible under development, and I, as MP that said, includes the uh, hardware also. No, no, only the intangible. Okay. But it won't be fair, you know. I mean, we are asking questions, you know, left, right, in different ways. In different ways. <laughs> I don't think it's appropriate to mention it. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll take one last question from the line of Harish Ayer, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, so, just want to understand what would be we should take as an annualized figure for the uh, other income, considering now uh, we have uh, changed our policy because uh, otherwise every quarter it moves uh, up and down. So, uh, 
is it possible for you to guide that what of this change in policy and uh, shift to of our portfolio what would be our annualized other income sir it's only appropriate for me to give you an uh, indication but uh, you know we have uh, as you know we have mentioned in the call we are moving towards uh, wherever we can mostly we'll be moving to health to maturity but remember in health to maturity you only get going to get the accrual so that's the downside right if the interest rates start falling in the fourth quarter then there's nothing that we can uh, that will be able to record it will be only the accrual so that is something that we have to keep in mind okay okay sir Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last question for today. I would now like to hand the conference over to Mr. P.S. Reddy for closing comments. No, thanks to all of you. And uh, I think we have done uh, well uh, in terms of numbers. But uh, uh, my, 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 my topmost priority at this point, the entire team at MCX is to make uh, the commodity derivatives platform live and uh, uh, and uh, that's that's what our single uh, most important target for this quarter and hopefully uh, we will be able to make it let's see thank you thanks to all of you thank you ladies and gentlemen on behalf of multi commodity exchange of india limited that concludes this conference call thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines